and welcome back to my channel. I am trying to lose 20 pounds, which is the weight I have gained since the pandemic, and this is now week number 11. I still don't feel good about my body and how my body feels, and I'm so sick of coming on here and telling you guys that. But it is now going to be January, and I'm ready to get on track. I just came back from Costco, and here is my Costco haul. I picked up some chicken breasts. I'm going to try to cook them in my new air fryer. And I also want to try air frying Brussels sprouts. I've seen some like really cool recipes, so I want to try that. And I got this uh, broccolini to also air fry pretty much everything I'm air frying. And then I actually bought more of this bread that tastes like a sponge. But I actually really like it and it's also got high protein and I'm trying to increase protein. So that's the food I bought. And then I also bought these two water bottles for my New Year's resolution. I want to drink a bottle of water in the morning when I get up. So I'm going to have these as my water bottles that are going to be by my bed. I got a Ninja Foodie um, air fryer pressure cooker thing for Christmas and I'm really excited to use it to make really healthy meals and amp up my protein. So today I am making some chicken breasts and some broccolini and I marinated the chicken breasts. I'll just put the marinade up on the screen. It's just something super simple and I have it in the fridge for a couple hours and basically I'm pressure cooking the chicken and then adding in the broccolini and putting it on broil. Unfortunately, I did burn the broccolini, which is weird because I followed the directions in the book, but next time I'm just gonna put it on for a little bit less time. But the chicken turned out amazing. It was so juicy. I can't wait to try out this thing more. I am putting on some makeup because my friend and I are going skating in the woods which is something I've been wanting to do for years and I just keep forgetting to do it. So I'm so happy she suggested it. My Christmas depression is gone and I've just been killing it lately. Like I went to the gym yesterday, I did a bar class and I'm going skating today and I'm going on a winter hike tomorrow. Just exercise every day. I know this is super random, but January might be my favorite month of the year. Like, it's just, once that Christmas depression lifts, oh, I just feel like a million bucks. I drank my bottle of water for the first time today. Uh, in the morning, like I sat in bed and I made myself drink the whole thing. And it was very weird, like, I'm so dehydrated all the time. It's like, it feels weird to be hydrated. I was also like immediately hungry after I drank the water which usually takes me a couple hours to get hungry in the morning. But like after I chugged, like it's a large bottle of water too. Like after I chugged the large bottle of water, I was like, I could go for some breakfast. I am obsessed with my Glossier mascara. came in the mail. If you haven't watched my earlier vlogs, I've been having some trouble with hair loss. That actually started when I lost about 50 pounds several years ago. These are some things I found recommended online. So I did buy them on Amazon and I got castor oil, rosemary essential oil, and I'm going to like mix these two together because rosemary essential oil is like too harsh to put just like on your scalp, so you have to mix it into another oil. So I'm gonna be using the castor oil. And then I got this derma roller. This has um, micro needles on it, and you kind of like use it to puncture the skin, and that causes collagen to go to that area of your skin. I'm just gonna mix one drop of castor oil and one drop of rosemary. And I'm applying it to my scalp where I need hair growth, which is all at the top along my hairline. And then now I'm going to use the derma roller 
And I'm not gonna lie, this makes my scalp super itchy. This feels very vulnerable, just like showing you all my scalp like this because it's something I usually try to hide, like all my hair loss. I've been hiding it for so long now. This started in 2016 and it's just been getting worse. So I'm gonna try to do that um, scalp routine about every two to three days and I'll do it like the night before I wash my hair because I'm trying to wash my hair only every two to three days. Um, so that's gonna be my plan and I will let you know if there's any progress and I'm sure you'll see if there's any progress as well. I am having a dragon fruit today. I think it's very important to change up your fruits and vegetables and just try something new. this really gorgeous location in Gatineau Park. My friends and I are going for a winter hike and we're going to hike to a cabin where we're going to build a fire and just like chill out there and enjoy the scenery and I'm so excited. It's such a blessing to live in Gatineau where we have such beautiful places like this. For New Year's, we have a lockdown in Quebec. You can't leave the house after 10 p.m. So we just stayed in and we had some apple mimosas. It's just apple juice mixed with champagne. And we watched an old James Bond movie called Thunderball. We we're trying to like watch all the James Bond movies, but I drank like a little bit too much and we ended up ordering pizza. But I did get the pizza with cauliflower crust, so I think that's a little bit better. I am starting the day by cleaning the kitchen. It got a little bit out of hand, so I have to unload the dishwasher. And after I'm done that, I have to reload the dishwasher with all of the dirty dishes. gingerbread coffee. I got these gingerbread pods for my Nespresso for Christmas, but unfortunately they only taste good with like a lot of sugar, so I probably wouldn't buy them again, but I think they were holiday only anyway. I want to start out the year with some gratitude. Thank you so much for watching my videos and for subscribing and liking. Please don't be afraid to comment about like what's your favorite part of these vlogs, what's your least favorite part. I would love to like just tweak them to be something that you would enjoy more. So yeah, just thank you so much for being here and I will see you next week.